Hey guys, it's Chris. Welcome to my channel. Um, I wanted to let you guys know first off, um, over here, <laughs> over here, um, tomorrow is our last day for you guys to sign up for the vendor sponsored giveaway for February. Um, I will be picking a winner on the 15th and, um, so yeah, last day, last day is tomorrow to sign up. So, um, click on this link here it'll bring you to your vid into the video where you need to sign up under and watch the video and sign up and all that good stuff for um february february vendor sponsor giveaway it's a big one guys it's, it's a big one it's really super cool okay so i am doing a haul today this is from bella candles and tarts and i had purchased I had purchased a while ago a um, kind of one of these things that she's doing. She's getting ready to open. I think she had surgery, and um, I'm gonna look here really quick as to what she has. Oops, I'm always typing in the wrong search bar. Okay, so the owner is Candy Hunt, and what she was off offering is um, she's closed right now at the moment. So. What she was offering was, oh, they have more. Hmm. Okay. Um, more goodies to give away. Um, but what she was offering basically was at the time she's got a few more things. Um, I think she's clearing out some inventory kind of thing. Um, she was offering a labeled box for thirty dollars and an unlabeled um, regional A. Yeah, regional A, full regional A box um, for $30, which I took, um, and that stuff was was labeled, um, and so all the scents were labeled. And then she was offering one for $25 where the scents weren't labeled. I personally don't like mystery stuff where stuff's not labeled. I know some people don't really mind it, whatever. So um, there were she said there was going to be a mix of cups, scallops, bark, sticks, etc., that kind of thing. Um, you know, maybe not in the greatest condition, who knows, whatever, you know, she didn't say that, but, um, anyway, so I did get the box. There was no bubble wrap, no nothing, not a card, nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, but anyway, so I will just show you what I got. So I just picked up on it. Cause like I said, I had, I had, I did one of these before, but it was a much smaller, to a much smaller extreme and um i have melted her wax before and i had pretty decent luck with it so you know when i saw this i was like well okay you know this is a good way to like build up my stash and she's not open and then i kind of get you know a taste of everything and if there's something that i don't like pass it on oh that's another thing guys i'm in the middle of labeling and um i have one i think drawer left i'm doing some d stashes just for um shipping only which is kind of like not for me wax like event like vendors that don't really agree with me or they just or some just might not be my scent or whatever kind of thing um, you know, not in the best condition as is, whatever. It's posted in D-Stash or Wax. So if you guys want to look, um, actually, I shouldn't even say that because it's closed at the moment because I had so many outpourings and I had this huge basket. But now that I'm kind of looking at it, a lot of this stuff, I kind of want to just throw away. Like, I really don't even want to D-Stash it, you know, even just for shipping. So, you know, I had gotten it, um for shipping only and purposes and um like again a lot of the stuff i don't know i, I may just throw in the garbage to be honest with you i hate to throw wax in the garbage because i know what necessarily doesn't work for me could work for other people or there could be vendors that i absolutely can't stand that other people have good luck with so i really you know but like i said it's kind of an as-is thing some of the stuff's labeled some of the stuff's not labeled um but it, you know, it's kind of, some of it's like really good smelling stuff, but it doesn't have a label on it, that kind of stuff. Anyway, that's what it is. So anyway, um, but it is kind of, it's closed right now because as I look at it, there's not going to actually be enough for everybody that wanted one, unfortunately, but I am going to be doing, um, once I get all 
organized, which should be sometime after my vacation. Um, I'll be doing a lot of random acts of kindnesses because I've been wanting to and wanting to and wanting to, but I really had to organize what I had so I knew what I had, that kind of thing. So anyway, back to Bella's. Okay, so this is, so for example, I'm just going to show you. This is um, Bella's Candles and Tarts. This is a, looks like a bag of kind of thick brittle or whatever. And this is in Honey Butter Buns. Ugh, is this going to focus or not? There it goes. And, but as you can see, like on the back, there's a sticker that's just kind of been, you know, hanging out there so it's not the neatest stuff but you know whatever it, it just kind of gives you the chance to try so I thought it was a good mm, this smells really nice honey butter buns this kind of just smells like nice baked bread which I love I love baked bread scents and then um you know anything totally non-spicy and then with honey kind of drizzled on top so that's really nice and I don't normally do bark um and her stuff is paraffin so I normally don't do bark but um this is a really nice scent so it's kind of cool I don't know if some of the scents these scents are discontinued or not but um this is a one ounce Bella's uh, why is it not focusing? There it goes. In Vicks Vapor Rub. And I know a lot of people like this, especially during the cold season. I can't do these. So this will be in my giveaway. Although this isn't super duper. Well, it is paraffin. I was going to say. It's not super duper strong. It smells just like Vicks Vapor Rub. But I'm sure if you put it in your warmer, it will get a lot stronger. Oh, this is gonna, I'm using my son's computer right now. And this is going to drive me crazy because he has. I haven't set his to not go. For the light not to go wonky. So again, Vicks Vapor Rub. This one would not be for me. But this is kind of why I buy these mystery boxes. So I can share. I really like that. Um, this is a one ouncer. And again, I don't usually do one ouncers. But with paraffin, I'm kind of finding that it's a little... Um, soy one ouncers, I won't do at all. But paraffin one ouncers, I'm finding that it tends to work. You know, um, I usually put it in my Glade warmer and um i know most people paraffin they just throw in their 24 watt i find that i can still put it in my glade or my 18 watt okay so this is bit of honey i think this is supposed to be like the bit of honey candy so i'm not really sure what bit of honey is like i remember eating the candy and loving it when i was a, when i was a kid but it's honey and almost like maybe a nougat kind of smell. Um, but this one is this one's this one's nice. Um, okay, now here we go to the two. Well, not all of them, but here's a two ouncer. And this is in lavender and coconut milk. And this smells really good. I like this a lot. Um, like I said, I find with Bella's. Some of this stuff is really strong on cold and other stuff isn't. But when then when you melt it, it gives it gives a nice throw. So I'm looking forward to her opening again and getting some like new wax per se. I don't, you know, there's no dates on these or anything like that. Some of the labels are maybe this is her new label, maybe it's her old label, I don't know. And then you have something like this which is what I have gotten before. So maybe that's her old labels. I don't know. But um, I like this lavender and cocoa milk. I like that one a lot. Okay, so this is a two-ouncer. Again, a different label. This is, this is again, like I said, the ones that I got before were these labels. And this is Fruity Pebbles... Fruity Pebbles cereal. So this should just smell just like Fruity Pebbles. And it does. I really like cereal blends. I really, really do. I like them a lot. Um, I don't know why. Maybe because I'm just a cereal junkie. Like, I used to say if, when I was a kid, like, if I could ever own, like, a part of a grocery store, it'd be the cereal aisle, and I could, like, live off cereal, like, morning, noon, and night, and I really could. Um, I don't eat that much cereal anymore, but, um, this is, and again, you'll see, like, some oil over here kind of thing. You know, like she had said, it's not, I mean, it was such a good price, so. This is buttermilk biscuit with, biscuit with strawberry. 
it smells really good. This is like a good, um, this is a really nice fresh strawberry scent. Sometimes I notice with paraffin, and you get more of the biscuit on the bottom. Sometimes I notice with paraffin, the strawberry or the fruities, I don't know, sometimes they smell artificial. But this smells really nice. I like this. Um, okay, so next we have Peppermint Bark Brownies. And this is cute. These are cute labels with the little, uh, what you call it, little peppermint brownies on the bottom <coughs> or on the side. And this is really nice. I normally don't do mint of any sort, um, but if you mix it with a chocolate scent, I'm all good. And I really like this one. I like this one a lot. This is really good. So, okay. So we have cake batter ice cream. Again, label's kind of messed up. You know, but like I said, you can't beat the price. So it was well worth it. Now, this is not a great one for me. This is one I'll probably pass along. Just because it's, it's, I, cake batter to me and ice cream scents, they're, they're like mixer scents. I know some people love them all on their own. I'm not huge into them, so. Uh, let's see. Okay, here we have honey zucchini grams. So I'm assuming it's like a honey zucchini bed graham cracker or teddy graham kind of thing. Now this is nice. I'm going to, Okay. I will probably pass this on only because I'm kind of sick of zucchini, but this is a really nice zucchini. It's a very, um, it's not spicy and it's very, um, it's a very fresh zucchini. Ugh, as my screensaver goes off, it's going to drive me crazy. It's a very fresh zucchini, which I really like when it's kind of like absolutely, you know, Super fresh zucchini, like you just peeled a zucchini. Um, but I'm just kind of getting sick of my bakeries and the zucchini breads and all that other kind of stuff. So this is raw sugar cookie dough. And I'm assuming this is just going to smell like a sugar, sugar cookie scent. I'm not huge into sugar cookie. Yeah, it just smells like sugar cookie. Again, sugar cookie to me is a mixer. You know, um, so I'd much rather share it with somebody who likes to mix their scents, you know, like throw this in with something else with like a fruity or something like that. And I just don't, I don't do that. You know, cut it in half, throw it in, mix it up. Um, I just don't do that. I, I don't know why. I don't know if it's my laziness <laughs> or, you know, I just want something blended, already blended for me that I can just throw in my warmer. But, you know, that's just me. Um, orange glazed chestnuts. I should kind of think out of the box. You know what I mean? I should start, start I really should start doing that, but. This is really nice. This is kind of just, just reminding me of a citrusy scent right now. I'm not really getting the chestnuts. I kind of just smell the citrus. The orange, but I really, I'm, I'm in love with orange scents. So this one I will keep. Then we have Cinnabon Latte. Now I love coffee scents. Coffee and paraffin, mm, there's very few that I've been able to. Um, cinnamon latte. There's very few that I've been able to, as far as with paraffin, I don't know, for some reason. And cinnamon, I'm not huge on. Yeah, this is a little too spicy, I think, unfortunately. I smelled it on the top. I'm sorry, guys. I got to keep moving my mouse. That's going to drive me nuts. Um, I smelled it on the top and I was like, oh yeah, definitely. I do this with Candles by Victoria too, because you can always, with the hard paraffins, you can always smell it better on the bottom than on the top. It's, but it's a little too spicy for me. So unfortunately, because it is a nice coffee scent, but uh, it's too spicy. Um, this is Fluffernutter and I love this label. It's hysterical. It's got a little, let's see if you can see it here. Fluffernutter, how to make it. Come on, focus, focus. Really? You're not gonna focus for me? 
Really? Anyway, it just shows you how to make a Fluffernutter. So, this is Fluffernutter. There we go. Now it's going to focus. But it's really cute. It's like bread, and they have little happy faces, and then it adds peanut butter, and then you add the fluff. <laughs> it's Fluffernutter. I love Fluffernutters. I don't eat them anymore, but um, ugh, love it. And I haven't seen many people that carry Fluffernutter, so. Okay. Now, I'm not getting... Okay, on the bottom again. The pe I, I get it. It really does smell like a fluffernutter, like all put together with the bread and the, the marshmallow fluff and the um, peanut butter. I don't know if I'm loving it. But it definitely smells like a fluffernutter. I wish there was a little more peanut butter and a little more fluff smell, like marshmallow, I guess. I guess I just wish it was a little stronger. I'll definitely have to pop this one in and see if this gets stronger on warm, which, you know, it normally does. Okay, this is Pink Amaretto Angel. Now, I'm assuming, like I said, I don't have some descriptions for these. And this is, um, I'm assuming it's Pink Amaretto and Angel Food Cake. Now, I'm not a big Angel Food Cake person because I don't really think it smells like much. You know, my mom, oh my God, my mom used to love angel food cake. Ugh, she would buy it all the time. I'm like, it's like eating a sponge. I don't like it. I can't stand it. But, um, but I do like pink and I do like amaretto. I like amaretto if it's not too cherry smelling. This smells really nice. Mostly what I smell is pink. You know, gonna, gonna be straight up with you. I mostly smell pink. I really don't smell amaretto. And I like that amaretto bite. I like the bite of amaretto. Um, and again, angel food cake to me. It kind of smells like a pink angel food cake. Like a pink um, pound cake almost. Mm, but I like that. You know, I'm fine. It's funny because I'm finding that I'm liking pink more and more. I mean, I remember when it first came out, I didn't really, I wasn't, I mean, I was, I liked it and then I got really sick of it and now I'm kind of liking it again. Um, this is a cookie, which is really cute with the little ch chunks on it. This is mint chocolate chunk cookies. And this smells just like a peppermint patty. This is really, really nice. I, I don't get, um, a cookie note at all. But it smells like a peppermint patty. Then, and that's the only kind of like mint that I can really melt is the peppermint patty, the chocolate, and the peppermint is really well. I can do some like lavender mints and stuff too, but for the most part, I'm kind of like again, I'm getting kind of used to some mint scents, so that's always good. I'm sorry, guys, if this lighting keeps going off. Um, this is better than sex cake. Now, somebody had told me that this is chocolate cake, so I'm not sure. But this is a one ouncer, and again, again, I normally don't melt one ounces, but um, with paraffin. Okay, this doesn't smell like chocolate cake to me. It smells like almost like a coconut cake to me. I don't know if I'm loving this one. You know, I mean, there's definitely a cake, but it's smelling, like I said, more like a coconut cake to me, as opposed to a, I don't know. I thought it was supposed to be a chocolate cake, but um, I could be wrong. Cotton candy clouds. I don't know what clouds are. Okay, I'm thinking cloud is sort of like a fresh scent. It's kind of weird because it smells kind of fresh. Here and then on the bottom, you can smell the cotton candy, but it's light. But again, it's paraffin, guys. So, you know, you definitely have to. Okay, this is an iffy. I'm not so sure about this one. I'm kind of like on the fence about that one. Okay, this is corn husk. No idea what this is supposed to sound like. I mean, smell like, but it sounds really interesting. Probably a nice fall. Oh, I like this. This is kind of an earthy. I, okay, this is really hard to describe. 
it almost smells to me like dried leaves. You know, like when you go through, you know, in the fall. When you go through in the fall and you smell the fall leaves, that's kind of what it's what it smells like to me. Hmm. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, okay, so then we have All American. This is red, white, and blue. Super cute. Um, these labels, you know, like I said, they're not really sticking all that well, but so I'll probably tape them. I noticed that with their last ones too, that they didn't, didn't really, um, what you call it? The labels don't stick all that well. So All American, I have no idea what this is supposed to smell like. But it's really cute. I think it's a berry blend. Yeah, I think it's definitely a berry blend. Like maybe strawberry, blueberry, and vanilla. Mm, this one's really good. I'm going to keep this one. Oh, let's see. Vanilla zucchini bread. And this is a two-ouncer. And this one's nice. This is a nice vanilla. I'm not really a vanilla person. But this kind of... Um, Really creams out the zucchini bread, although the zucchini bread is not, again, it's not a spicy zucchini bread. This is nice. Uh, you know, I don't know. It's funny because I just got these these boxes and I'm really kind of trying to pare down. But I really wanted, I don't, like I said, I didn't have a lot of Bellas and I kind of really wanted to get this mystery so that I could then add more to my um, random act of kindness box. Okay, so this is blue cotton candy. I really like these labels here. I don't know if she still uses them, where it depicts the picture of whatever this is. I think it's so cute. Um, it's a little, like I said, it's light. Cotton candy tends to be a lighter scent. I wish there was a way you could amp up cotton candy because I don't know. For some reason, it tends to be light to me. This is kind of hard to. I don't know if this is blue mixed with cotton, blue like blue sugar mixed with cotton candy or if it's blue cotton candy as in the like the blue raspberry cotton candy. Um, I don't know for sure. Like I said, I'm going to put this in my iffy pile. I mean, I, I like it. It's nice and I like sweet scents too. Um, this is blueberry cheesecake. I love cheesecake blends. I'm noticing with my son's camera, or it's my camera, but his computer. I have to hold this further away. Yeah, I love blueberry scents. This is just a nice creamy blueberry. Mm. It's nice. Like I said, it's it's light on cold. Most of these, like I said, they're going to be light on cold, but I do like this one. I think I'll keep that one. Normally, I don't keep my one ounces. I normally give those away. Um, Little Pink Princess. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> don't know. I'm assuming there's some pink in here, but I could be wrong. Oh, this is nice. This is like a pink floral. But the floral, it's an, oh. Maybe it's a pink cotton candy blend. No, I'm catching some floral in here, or some musk of some sort. Ooh. I like this, though. Hmm. I really like this one. i got to mark these, too. I'll have to go back and sniff them again after. So there's, as you can see, guys, there's quite a few things in here. This is candy corn cupcakes. Now, candy corn, to me, I either love it. If it's a sickeningly sweet candy corn, I love it. If it's not... I don't. Okay, I'm mostly getting cupcakes. Mm, do I smell candy corn? Yes, it's light. This mostly kind of smells like a buttercream cupcake to me, as opposed to any candy corn anything. But it is nice. This is this is really this is a nice bakery scent. Okay, here we have cinnamon. Oh, we have another cinnamon latte. Did I put the other cinnamon latte over here? Uh, where is it? Yes. So I got two cinnamon lattes. So unfortunately, I can't do those. So um, lemon bread. Like I said, again, love my bread scents. I love them. Yeah, this is really good. Mostly I'm smelling lemon. 
So I'm hoping the bread scent comes out as I melt it. But I love lemon scents. I don't know what it is about it. I love it. Lemons and grapefruits and like all that kind of stuff. I tend to grab when I'm just kind of feeling down, you know. And they perk me up. This is vanilla cake pops. Sorry, guys. Um, let me see here. This just kind of reminds me of a white cake. That's kind of all it reminds me of. Like with not a lot of buttercream, just the straight up white cake. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm loving this one. It's kind of a little too vanilla for me. I do have to say from Bella's though, I love these. She uses New Spring, um, which are all number five PPs, and I love these lids. They stay on. Um, somebody else uses these too. Um, I really love these these Sunshot cups. They're nice and you know sturdy. Love them. These are my favorite Sunshot cups. Okay, next we have green tea and cucumber, which uh, again an earthy. It doesn't say Bella's on it. I'm gonna have to mark that. Love it. Love it. I love cucumber scents. And normally, like, people do cucumber and melon. Eh, I, I don't like melon. I'm not a big melon person. But green tea and cucumber. This is just nice, fresh awesomeness. Cucumber is just a really nice, fresh scent. I love drinking cucumber water, too. Like, you, you know, you put cu a bunch of cucumbers in, like, a pitcher or something, and you let it sit overnight. Oh, my God. Love that. Um, Carnival Sweet Nuts. Not quite sure what that's supposed to be. Probably like carnival scents, like funnel cake and all that other stuff, and then nuts. Yeah, thinking. Yeah, I can smell the cinnamon on the bottom because there's some oils and stuff on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. So. Yeah, this is too spicy for me. I can't usually do like a, any kind of funnel, carnival, funnel cake, whatever. I can't usually do them because of the cinnamon. Um, <clears throat> sweet milk cake. Now, sweet milk, guys, I... Sweet milk, sugared milk, I really normally cannot stand. Yeah, I can't stand it. It smells like curdled milk to me. I know some people love it. I don't. I can't. I can't do it. I just can't, can't, can't do it. Um, I don't, I don't know why. It just smells like, like I said, like that condensed milk or whatever. Okay, ants on a log. This is, I got one of these before. This is actually like celery and peanut butter scent, which is so funny. And probably raisins. I can so smell the celery. It's, um, I wish I could smell more peanut butter. It's really interesting. Mm, I don't know. I'm hemming and hawing. I wish there was more peanut butter smell in here. Um, I'm kind of just really smelling like fresh celery. Um, I don't know for sure if that will be a scent for me. Even though, because I love those green whatever scents. Okay, so this is Cinna Butter Crescent Rolls. So if you guys get this stuff from me, please know that it's, you know. Mm, I love Crescent Rolls. I don't know how old this stuff is, but I just received it today. This, hmm. I don't know. It's hard with paraffin because I want to say this could be a cinnamon that I can do because it's a buttery cinnamon. The crescent roll kind of really butters it out. But then on the other hand, I could then throw it in my warmer and it could explode cinnamon and then I would be like, oh no. Hmm. I think I'm going to pass on that one. Um, I'm about half and half here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, buttermint candies. Normally, not a huge fan of buttermint. It's usually way too minty for me. I got a beautiful loaf from um, Victoria's Designer Creations, and it was buttermilk, buttermint and it's supposed to be chocolate. Wished it was more chocolate. It really wasn't. It was way too pepperminty for me. I still haven't cut into it, actually, but it's so beautiful. Yeah, this is, 
this is way too minty for me. It's it, But it does smell exactly like these candies. Let's see if I can. And I love these candies. I love to eat them. The ones that you get like sometimes at the restaurant. They melt in your mouth. Oh my god. It's so good. So now I know what a buttermint candy is. There we go. Um, I love the candies. I just can't. Too minty for me. Um, Captain Crunch Crispy. So I'm thinking this is Captain Crunch and maybe Rice Krispies. Yeah. Yeah. This smells good. Oh, it's freezing rain out, you guys. Now we had like, oh my God, like 12, 10, 10 to 12 inches of snow. And now it's freezing rain on top of it. It's going to be a mess. That's when all the power is going to go out. Mm. I like this. It smells a little light, and I think that's probably because of the Rice Krispie in it, but I do like this. Okay, then we have, this one has a cracked lid. This is another Ants on a Log, and it does have a cracked lid. Um, so I'm probably going to put that in my, my um, you know, my not-so-hot wax. Um, this is Palm Trees. No, I love, of course, palm trees does not is not an apostrophe S, but hmm. let me because this is paraffin. Let me see if the whole thing will pop out. Yes, it will. I'm not getting much of anything. I'm not getting much of anything here. But you know, again, people's noses are different. Because palm trees would normally be something that I love. Now, this is, I didn't even know she did clamshells, to be honest with you. This is um, Birthday Cupcake. Not one of my favorite scents. It's really cute. Um, all, although all the, all the decorations are on the bottom. All the little sprinkles, which, you know. Um, so, obviously, she poured them in while, you know, still setting. Yeah, this is just a light birthday kind of butter, butter cake, whatever smell. And I'm not going to take it out because of the, so it's not, like I said, I'm not a huge, I don't know. I don't know why. I'm not a huge cupcake person. And here's a stick in lemon biscotti cookie dough bread. Now, I can't smell this because I think this is the wrong cello, too. I'm going to repackage this ASAP. Um, you know what? So then I will... I will open it. Since I'm going to repackage it, I'll open it. This is the wrong cello, though. It's really, really... <sighs> and this is... I can tell it's an older label just because it's um, weathered. It's got that, like, weathered smell. But these are the sticks. I think, I think this got ruined because it's in the wrong... I don't know. See, cookie dough bread kind of, again, like, dumbs down scents for me. I love the smell of biscotti, and I love the smell of lemon. I'm not getting much of anything here. So maybe I'll throw one in. I'm definitely going to rebag this, though, because I do think it's the wrong bag. And unfortunately, because this is older, I think this was ruined. Um, and that is it, guys. So, you know, I mean, for 30 bucks, it's quite a lot of wax. I mean, with some of it, you know, some of it was not for me. You know, not for me since some of it is definitely like wrong bag, you know, um, you know, or cracked lid or something like that. I mean, you know, it's kind of, I still like getting these though. You know what I mean? Like it's not the same as buying directly from the vendor and everything's all packed up and nice, but it is really, I do like getting these just because like I said, then I have, I have right here now two, four, six. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 18 things now that I can share with others. So, you know, I just, I love that. That's the main reason why I buy them. So anyway, that was my Bella's haul, guys. So, um, again, click here, guys. Last day tomorrow, I will be picking the winner on the 15th for the big giveaway. So, what is going on here? Sorry, guys. This, my, my son's computer has some sort of thing going on with it where like ads will just pop up 
whatever. And I was like, oh, Mucinex commercial. Great. Thanks. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, last day tomorrow, guys. So please sign up. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.